Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. Now GM and EVgo just provided an update. Uh, it's still in beta but this is supposed to provide GM electric vehicles with plug and charge functionality on the EVgo network. Now uh, that was just announced today and uh, I just went ahead and activated it. Now this isn't something that you can just turn on right away. It does require that you have several things in place including you have to have an active EVgo account with a payment method associated with it. You also have to have the OnStar with the data activation and then you have to go into the My Chevrolet app. Now they list it as My Brand I've seen it in a few stories, but GM has their apps separated. So for the Bolt EV, it's my Chevrolet. For the Hummer EV, it will be my GMC or my Buick or my Cadillac. Uh, but you have to go into the app for your car and then you have to set this up and it is listed as a beta right now. And from home, you actually have to go to the energy screen and then in the upper right hand corner, press that more options or sandwich button, whatever you want to call it in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and then from there you can select uh, the, the charging, charging provider setup. Now they do have activating through an app which is already available for EVgo and ChargePoint but this is a new like I said beta to do the actual plug-in charge so you should be able to just take this cord plug it into the car and have it start charging automatically. Now I don't really need to charge my car is almost at 70% battery uh, but I have everything set up and activated. Uh, the one other thing is I think that my Chevrolet app does have to be on. I had to turn that on on my phone. This is one thing I'm not a huge fan of the my Chevrolet app right now because it's one of those apps that automatically turns itself off. My phone actually requires uh, to be for work has to be automatically locked password locked and so even with that setting on the app does doesn't stay on it logs you out every time and because of the complicated nature of passwords that you have to keep at this point that's a real big problem to try and log that password in every time you want to restart the app because it will log you out in the time between DC fast charging sessions even on a trip when you're driving and that's a problem that Chevy needs to fix with their app but since everything is set up let's just go ahead and try it out All right, just open up the charge port, come over here, no RFID, no payment, no nothing. Click it in. And initiating session. So I haven't touched anything yet and uh, it should recognize my car's uh, VIN number through the app. So this is the first time it's done that. Yep, right there, just starting. So all I had to do is bring the, bring the plug in and plug it in. So now it's official, the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV uh, has plug and charge functionality. So, you know, thanks uh, EVgo. Thank you, uh, GM. All right, well, there you have it. It worked perfectly. This is the first time I've ever done it. Uh, first time I tried it. Just set up, like I said, set up the app, set up the beta today. Um, just go in there and set it up. If you already have your OnStar uh, data package, connection package, you already have an EVgo account set up with a payment. Uh, you have to have your payment uh, credit card associated with your EVgo app. But like I said, I have the RFID card and that has been very convenient for me. I don't have to worry about logging into an app if it logs me out or anything else like that. Uh, maybe I should actually try it again sometime without the app. Uh, just don't even bother turning it on because if it is registered on the EVgo side and you can just plug in, then that's going to be super convenient especially for Bolt EV owners like me who have trouble with those heavier cables. A lot of these Ultium Ready sites that are being built out with the 350 kilowatt chargers, you have to support the cable. So being able to just plug in, support the cable and let it initiate automatically. It worked amazingly well right away. Like I said, first try, um, pretty easy to set up as long as you meet all of the criteria. And again, this works across the entire uh, GM family. I haven't heard any news. Uh, this is a technically a different way 
of doing the uh, plug and charge activation than what they use on the Electrify America network. Uh, so I don't know if GM is working out something with Electrify America to also offer a uh, plug and charge, probably only on their newer Ultium based electric vehicles, but this is backward compatible all the way back to the Chevy Bolt EV. Jeff on electric revs, uh, I'll put a link in the description below, does a really good write up on the difference between the plug and charge uh, functionality and this is one that's been in the works for a while now but it's actually up and running so great job GM great job EVgo let me know what you think is this a functionality that you would use is it something that you're interested in on your trips I mean are you happy that they've upgraded almost a six-year-old car uh, with plug-in charge functionality now if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and uh, thank you for watching